All right, Charles back with another tutorial on how to fix a Xbox 360 DVD drive. This time it's the light on from Philips. A um, couple of questions I got from the first video where we did the BenQ. I figured I'd go through that and answer a few questions right quick. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the board out of your broken DVD drive and put it into a brand new one. Uh, and you may be thinking, why can't I just take the new one, plug it in, and everything will work just fine. It doesn't work that way with Xbox 360. If you don't match that board with that Xbox, it's done. Uh, that's when you get that screen that a lot of people ask about. It. It'll only play DVDs. This may or may not fix that problem. If um, by chance something went wrong with the flash on the board that you have, which is rare, but it does happen, you're pretty much screwed. No fix is going to help you unless you flash it uh, back to the original BIOS, which is possible. Another question I got quite frequently was, can I just tie the wires together? Well, yeah, you can. Um, I can't guarantee you how long that'll last. Uh, it's not probably the smartest thing to do, but if you're not comfortable with soldering, I guess that's your only option. Uh, just make sure you do a very good job of it. All right, now, so remember, this is specific to the light on Phillips drive. Now, you know, if you're having drop problems with your DVD drive on your Xbox, the only way exactly, well, you can identify it through the trays, and there's plenty of tutorials to show you how to use that. Uh, I like to take it apart, get the part numbers off of the DVD drive to make sure I'm getting the exact part I need. Another quick tip is never, ever, ever, ever have your Xbox plugged up while you're working on it, especially when you're disconnecting components like your DVD drive. If you disconnect your DVD drive while there's power to the Xbox, it's going to trigger a little mechanism inside its little evil brain. It's going to say it's being tampered with, and it'll be banned from Xbox Live the next time you get on. So uh, just make sure you never power up the unit or unplug the DVD drive while the unit is powered up. All right, the first thing we're going to tackle is how the clips work. Now, this will come in handy later when you get it apart, but I figured I'd go ahead and jump right into that and show you how these main clips work. The one you're looking at right now is the uh, the ribbon that goes to the DVD drive uh, laser. So what I'm doing is I'm gently pushing on those tabs with a with a plastic pen or you can use a toothpick you can use your fingers most of the time I just grab it with my fingernails and pull it down but I'm just giving you an idea of basically how it works you got to get them down even like that and it should just pop right on out you know it shouldn't be any resistance uh, the next one is a smaller one it's a little different but same principle you take it and push it back till it doesn't want to go any further. But this one you have to lift up a little bit, which is a little bit different. And I, I'm holding the iPhone and the board and the pen while I'm doing this, so bear with me. I don't even I don't even remember how I actually managed to do it. So you got it back like that. You just kind of put your fingernail up under the bottom of it flip it up and you got to remember those things have got to be like that when you put that cable back in there or you won't be able to get it in correctly uh, make sure they're fully disengaged this one works exactly the same as that one you lift you push back on those two sides and there it is you hear it click lift up slightly there you go and the ribbon should be free. And I'm going to go ahead and shove this one back in there and show you how to put it back together. So you just basically the same process in reverse. Make sure it's in there. It's got the little line on the indicator to let you know if it's in there far enough. And there you go. Push the flap back down and push it back in. So now there's the DVD drive. Now we're going to prepare the wires to take them off. Now this is the old one. You'll see right up under my right hand, I've written old on the board so I can remember which which one is which. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you can get mixed up. Best thing to do is mark your work. 
so I'm just gently getting the wires ready to be removed from the board and what I'll use to do that is a soldering iron which will be a 15 watt to 30 watt all right so we've got those two off and we'll just go through one by one and the smart money is not taking the screws out of the board before you start removing the wires it makes it a little easier to deal with the board doesn't move around on you uh, hindsight's always 2020 right we just gently rub them just like that with a soldering iron get it warm and they'll disconnect if, if you find that you you're taking to it's taking too long the solder is not getting hot enough the iron's not getting hot enough um, you may have it on a lower setting I'm actually using 30 watt setting on this And we're going to set the old one aside. We're going to get the new one out. It's still got its board in it. And this is the absolute idiot proof way of doing it without getting the, the wires mixed up. <clears throat> Trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. As you can see, I wrote new on that board, so I know it's new. I'm not going to explain how to take these off. I've already done that. So all your ribbons are free. The only thing that's holding it is the wires and the two screws at the bottom of the board. And here we go. Got your soldering iron ready. I'm going to place my new board, or my old board, onto my, into my new setup. And you can... Alternatively, you can do it this way. You can take the screws out of the that's holding the board in the new DVD drive and go ahead and place your old board in its place and put the screws in and do the soldering that way. Or you can do it like I'm doing it here. But basically what I'm doing is I'm taking one wire off at a time. Now careful when you're doing this part. What you want to do is you want to take the soldering iron touching the solder and only that one pad. Now, if you, you bump across those two pads, you're going to join the solder on those two pads, and you're going to have a bad day because you're going to have to get it off to make it work. So make sure you're working with each pad separately. Now, what you want to do is get it slightly warm and then bring the wire into it. You don't even have to move it around a lot. Just kind of set it on there, and it'll start. you'll see it start to turn to liquid. And at that point, go ahead and stick the wire in it and the solder that's on the wire also to turn the liquid. And then when it's, we remove the heat, it'll instantly bond. Sometimes too fast like it did right there. Like I said, one wire at a time. You can't mess that up. Uh, Sorry, my hand was in the way most of the time, but you get the picture. And take your time. No rush. And the last one. And that's pretty much it. You're done. Remove the old, remove the new board actually. Put your old board in its place, put the cables back together, and connect your Xbox and play on. All right, so that's that. We got the wires soldered. Now, all we got to do is get that, that board out of our way so we can put the board that we want to get in there in it. Take your time. 
two screws at the bottom. Very small Phillips head. I used actually used a flat head, but you know. So there you go. All back together and ready to go. I guess one more important thing. Um, if you'll notice, when you took it apart, above each of those processor units, the little black squares that you see right there, there was a little foamy thing that went between... It's a little black square that went between the metal plate that covers it and that little processor. Make sure you get those back in there. That's that's part of the spacing uh, for your circuit board so it doesn't ground out on your case. So make sure you get those back in there. That's pretty important. And that's pretty much it. We're done. Put it back together. Thanks, I hope this helps. Happy gaming.